Hey everyone, Jay Michaels here with usfasttrack.ca. Um, doing a second part video on the art of the offer, part two. Um, the reason for this, we had a few people contact me this week uh, with some follow-up questions, so I figured uh, we can address them on a video. So, art of the offer, part two, getting offers accepted. Uh, probably a lot of you that are um, starting to put offers in are gonna realize that it's not as easy as it looks. So I've composed six points here that we're gonna discuss. Uh, number one, shop in one area. I put uh, city, but even more specific than a city, because city is really big, one to two zip codes. Um, the reason for this is it's very competitive, and if you are shopping around in a too big of an area, you're probably missing deals that, are com that have been on the market um, for either a period of time or just came on the market that by the time you get to them and putting an offer in, it's highest and best and they've already accepted an offer. Um, so what you have to do is concentrate on a few zip codes and watch the market daily. This is everyday check on it because properties are coming up every day and like I said, especially under um, depending where you're looking. If you're looking in the under $100,000 range um, in any major city, they go fast because everyone, you're dealing with everyone with, with money. Um, it's like I look for properties that are um, in good condition and poor condition. And it, to me, I'm putting offers on all types of properties, so I'm not just limited to looking for um, major projects. So you're even competing with me if you're looking for something that you don't want to deal with a lot of construction. Um, so number two is watch the market daily. Number three, keep offers clean. Don't go too crazy on your offer because when I put my offer in, it's as clean as can be and it may beat out your offer. Um, and obviously those points are in the last video that you can uh, pick up. Number four, submit offers right away. If you see a property that you may like or fits your description of what you're looking for, Get that offer in right away because if you if you hesitate, you you're not going to be in the the highest and best running. Because um, once they call for the highest and best, and they they give you a time and date, no more offers will be submitted after, and it doesn't matter if your offer is ten thousand dollars higher. They just they close the book on the and they decide which one is uh, the best. Number five, keep uh, low no low balls, especially right now we're seeing a shortage of inventory. If you're looking to get a discount on a property that's already listed at forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, good luck. Um, none of my like my offers alone are always much higher than listed, especially if it's in good condition. Um, and number six, if you're dealing with properties that are under, uh, I put seventy thousand dollars there. Um, it's a numbers game. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to put multiple offers in to get properties. Um, it's, it works out in your favor if you're dealing with a lot of um, scrap property uh, that needs a lot of work. Um, they don't move as fast, right? Because there's less investment. But I'll tell you right now, they hit certain price points, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, and they go fast because at the end of the day, you're buying property well undervalued. Um, so those are my little uh, points. I hope uh, this helps getting your next offer accepted. Uh, hang in there and uh, I hope you close lots of property. Let me know how, how well this advice goes. Um, follow us on Twitter at US Fast Track and like us on Facebook, US Fast Track. Thanks a lot, Jay Michaels here. Take care, happy investing, and uh, we hope to see you on the other side.